We back, the Dope House Live. We got my man Eddie Y still on the phone. Man, check this out, man. I'm, you know, the things that you were just saying is real as fuck, man. And I feel that the world nowadays, it's, it's too much real shit going on in the world nowadays for niggas to be out here on this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram and with a whole bunch of bullshit and they arguing and bickering, bickering like bitches over some, some nonsense. When motherfuckers is really out here losing their motherfucking freedom and their motherfucking lives out here, you know what I'm saying? Man. And, uh... Some of these dudes sending these dudes to lose their freedom. The ones you see on these old social networks, they the reason why these dudes getting put in these cages, bruh. Man. Motherfuckers getting popped on Facebook Live. You see the motherfucker out there? Where is that, Chicago somewhere? This nigga on Facebook Live standing on the corner in front of the store talking shit. And the nigga walked up and popped him. Man, get out of here. I mean, all, I'm, I'm not with the black on black crime, though. My bad. But at the same time, though, man, quit it, man. Cut it out. You know what I mean? Like, you feel me? Stop it, man. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he was an example. You know what I mean? Like, hopefully they paying attention. Because obviously they didn't peep no game or did nobody, you know, give them the when they was coming up, bruh. Yeah. That's real talk. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know, I got, I got posts. Somebody posted something on my timeline today on the Facebook about these, these, you know, some rappers. I never heard of these dudes. I didn't even look at the video, uh. but I looked at them and I could tell what they was on off top. And I knew it wasn't on. The, they wasn't drinking the same Kool Aid I drank. You feel me? Right. So right. I was like, I ain't even gonna do that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I don't even stop to even waste my time. You see? Yeah. Um. So, but then. You know, like, it was, it's a lot, all I'm saying, I guess my point is, it's a lot of people fed up with it, but then, I'm gonna be honest with you, the root cause of this is them 80s and them 90s. Mm. I mean, just being real, though, like, like, it, it, I, I see too many little dudes on the, man, these dudes wearing sassy pants, you feel me, they out here, you know, where you get that from? Yeah. You didn't get that from no dude, man. You got that from sitting up under your mama, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Touch on and, and then and then she telling you you're special and all that, but then when you go to school with that with that special attitude, and somebody socks you in your mouth. Now you don't know how to fight. You want to go get pistols, you feel me, or whatever you gonna go grab. And now when it's time to go down, you telling on everybody that's outside doing some real shit. Yeah, yeah. And you gonna put some pants on and come outside like ain't nothing wrong but different. If a man get stop it. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny you say that, man, because it's like, it's like, these dudes don't really know what it's, the game has changed, man, you know, back when we was in our teens and our 20s, motherfuckers was really out there on the block, you know, motherfuckers was really out there, not saying that these youngsters, that some of these youngsters ain't out there like that, but the game is where it was like, it was money out there back in the days, it ain't like that no more, so I don't know. What these dudes is out there representing? They ain't out there representing no money. Uh, they out there. They ain't out there shooting the robber for no money. So what are they out there doing it for? You know what I'm saying? For the reputation? For the uh, uh, another nigga? Uh, 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 I don't know, man. You know, I don't know. It's crazy as fuck. And then, and then motherfuckers gotta realize that it's it's a. Not only is you beefing with your own kind, you beefing with the police at the same time. But the police ain't. The police is gunning too. You know? Straight up. They ain't even asking questions no more. They just gunning. Right now. They pop a motherfucker in, you know, go through your pocket and see what you got. They they thinking about popping you before they even got to pop you. Yeah. That's the boy. You need, they, it's a whole lot of, you know, the vibe, the, 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 man, it's thick. You feel me? The tension is thick, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, and I, 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 I experience it all the time. You know, it's a, you know, like, I, I want to touch on something, though. Go ahead. I, I don't never, I, I don't never seem to glorify nothing that get us sent to the pen or get us killed. But my, my thing is, if you get into something, man, understand that it's consequences to this and that you can't be sending other people because you scared to go. Yeah. Serious. And then I blame these old, some of these OGs is raising these 
Seems like nowadays it's fashionable to be a gangbanger. It's fashionable yeah. to be a blood now. It's fashionable yeah. to, you know, put bees in front of all your words and shit. Motherfucker, these youngs. YG is popping. I love YG music, but yeah, these youngsters see YG is really about that life. YG really grew up in Treetop Compton, and he really out there about that. These yeah. youngsters that grew up in the suburbs like the music and like the way that nigga rap, and then they start uh, uh, representing that shit until they run across a real crip nigga. Or they run across a real blood nigga. And like you say, a lot of niggas grew up on their mama. Their mama didn't teach them how to fight. So the first time a nigga punch them in the mouth, the only thing they know is to pull out their gun and get to shooting and hit everybody but the nigga that hit them. You know what I'm saying? Man, come on, man. Like, you feel oh, having a temper tantrum. You yeah. feel me? Come yeah. on, man. Quit it. You feel me? Because as soon as you get put in that place, you dig? All that mouth running, that's going to stop fast, bruh. Yeah. Only real, that's what be making a dude anchor down. That's real tough. As a matter of fact, the topic of this show, the, the title of this show is Gangster Rap Made Me Do It. And the title uh, I came up with that title because I grew up around I me both of us, me and you. And you the perfect person to be on in, on this show with. Me and you grew up listening to gangster rap. NWA, ghetto boys, fucking criminal minded, you name that shit all the way down. A lot of the shit that I'm playing on, on the playlist on this show. And not once, the, the, the things that I did in the game, I did out of desperation or, 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 you know, or hustle. You know what I'm saying? Not once have I ever been in the midst of a situation and thought of some Spice One lyrics or some Tupac lyrics and, and reacted off that. You feel what I'm saying? For real. And I remember, you, you grew up in the 90s too. Remember back in the day, you used to be out there Smashing Tupac and NWA, NWA and Ice Cube CDs and shit, talking about they was influencing niggas to 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 to, to do crime and sell uh -huh. drugs and all this old bullshit. Uh -huh. <laughs> but if I recall, hey, motherfuckers you know, was selling hey, dope hey. in the twenties, the thirties, the forties, the fifties, the sixties, seventies. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> man, come on, man. In the in the eighteen hundreds, they was going off heroin and cocaine. You dig what I'm saying? And it yeah. Was, and it, but the people with capitalizing them look like me and you, bro. Right. They look like somebody else. They look like the police now. <laughs> 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 they look like the same people that's the police now. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> same people. But shit, the police always been involved. Can't man, nothing move without on. the motherfucking law. Man. Motherfuckers man. don't realize that. They, they human beings like we is. I don't know. They, they, they think these people came from some other planet or something, man. They... They, man, they human beings just like we is. Man, look. You see, but the, the, the cold part about it, though, is that with, with everything that's going on, we, we, we still ain't capitalizing on the fact that right now we got a shot at coming together and building a foundation that can't never be torn down. And dudes is out here. So, you know, we got differences over small, petty shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And dudes you know really what I mean and like you said they out here gossiping and acting like girls like all that showing out and being cute bruh and all that man I really do feel some type of way about that man. Yeah. But it's real, like I think they doing too much. And motherfuckers motherfuckers really, really, really better step their game up because as everybody already know the election is coming around, Obama finna be out of office and the next the next two candidates up, man, either one of them 
it's, it's gonna be a change, man. It's gonna be that shit gonna be real different. You feel what I'm saying? So, so niggas better really start thinking about that shit, man. Cause this shit finna get real different around here. Hey, do you know what I just thought of too, bud? Even guys think about how they pump this with the rap shit. Like yeah. you know, this shit made millionaires, bruh. Yeah. This made this made matter of fact, Dre became a billionaire after actually paying dues over thirty years, twenty something years. You did building you three different empires. It. He, he finally got his boat, and he was responsible for two or three empires. You, Man, shit. he's the old Dr. Dre is the only person ever in music, and I've been studying music for a long time to to build and crumble three empires, bro. Come on, and I mean monumental shit. Monumental, bro. Each one of those eras that that nigga crafted is is legendary. You feel what I'm saying? And, and you know, it, people say what they want, but I'm gonna be real. I feel like the dude should have been balling after NWA. He should have been rich right then. He should have been on about he should have been on about three billion right now. Yeah, on the real, he should. Be. Death Row, he should have made a billion. Man, come on, man, them boys made four hundred million in two years. Did you hear what I said, bro? Man. You know this already. Four hundred million in two years, bro. That's scary. Man. Like that's a fool right there. My bad. It, it, it was it was probably close to the three. You yeah. did, but yeah. I just know that. That shit. That sounded about right. Either one of them sound about right. Yeah, that, they they did their thing, but that was Drake. And you that's. Know me now? And then you know the the late nineties come and the Napster boy. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. He come with the all. Oh, you can download music for free, and I always kind of thought that was the government behind that, bro. Because even though they 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 tagged that dude with being the inventor of it, they could have shut that down immediately. The way they be spying on everybody, the way they know what's going on and everything, they really? could have they could have stopped that. Cause check it out. If we try to send somebody to work. For free, we gonna get in trouble. That's called a sweatshop, ain't it? Right. Yep. Or, or if I'm stealing from somebody and giving away that shit for free, that mean I done committed a crime, right? Nigga, so, nigga, OJ, OJ went to jail for stealing his own shit. Yeah, then they sit up with for the rest of his life for going to get his own shit. So we, <laughs> we, 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 you feel me? So we see the pattern and all this shit, and I'm just saying that's why dudes like our partner still don't even want to work. What are the reasons? Where, where the dough at? Yeah. Where the scream? Hey, but you know what? Before I forget, I'm glad that you, I'm man, you really touched on some serious shit. The reason Dr. Dre, Puff Daddy, Jay Z, 50 Cent, Birdman, all these rich motherfuckers is the reason why they changing the rap game like that. They don't want no more masterpieces and Birdmans and motherfuckers to come up. A black motherfucker come from the ghetto with some hood, what they think is some hood ghetto trash shit, and make hundreds of millions off that shit, and and and, and know how to maneuver with the shit. You got motherfuckers out there like Jay Z that really know how to maneuver with five hundred million in the bank, and Diddy out here that really know how to politic with these top end motherfuckers with six hundred million in the bank, or Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying, still mingling with the motherfuckers he mingle with, and he worth a billion dollars. They don't never want that shit to happen again. That's why they the CD sales are shutting down. That's why uh, the streaming is the big thing now. But you know, how can you really count how many streams you got? Who's sit, really sitting there counting each one? You feel me? Yeah, nobody knows what that is, if that's true or not. <laughs> right. It's all, it's all smoke and mirrors. Like, but but since we on it, they catch some yuckers is listening. You know where the dough at is with them shows. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. But but I just my point though for real was have you just slavery? When is somebody been? Who? When is somebody went to work for free, bro? Slavery. I'm saying since slavery, because you know we had to work for free when that happened. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we, yeah. We we built up a lot of shit for nothing. We didn't get a dollar for that. We did. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, responsible for the most powerful nation on the planet right now. You did go for all that free labor. To me, I just like to compare that to what they did with the rap game. Now everybody listens to all this tight ass music for free. Yeah. You can't get against them. You can't get nobody that come from this later on era to buy no music, bro. They don't even know what that's like. Buy music, y'all can download it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And the industry designed it like that so niggas couldn't get rich no more. So we couldn't get rich no more. So me and you, we on the same 
same train at the same time, blood. Yep. You feel me? And they and that to me, I think that was specifically for the reasons you said to keep dudes like Percy from making videos, walking through Hollywood, talking bad about them people like you. Like, man, did you see that the thing on YouTube with with P walking around Hollywood talking bad about everybody? Nah, I'm finna check that oh, out though. Yeah, it's on yeah. YouTube. It's on YouTube. You gonna crack up, bro? <laughs> P, P, P Rowdy, Master P Rowdy. Right now he Rowdy, bro. He can't eat, man. Man, man. I, you know, y'all done, y'all done, you know, y'all done been around the dude and all that. I, I'm just from afar tripping off his life, and I'm like, yeah, bro, he trying to start something. They trying to keep him from starting it though. Yeah. Like, he, he trying to do, he, he wanna, he wanna erupt and, and do his thing because he's sitting back watching, and I could tell, you know, reading between the lines and paraphrasing, he feel the same way we do. It's a lot of sucker shit going on. Yeah. P is a real. He is a real laid back, humble, smart, calculating motherfucker. You feel me? Uh -huh. He bred it off, so he really ain't got to be out here every day, but he, he he's sitting somewhere observing shit. And every now and then, with some piss him off, he jump out and say some shit. Yeah, he go bad. He, he, be, he got subliminals, bro. He got yeah. hella subliminals, bro. Because he went bad on Kobe for a minute. <laughs> yep, yep. He's going stupid. <laughs> yeah, so. Man, the dope man. Hey, man, look. I can sit there and chop it up with you all night, my nigga. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, hold on. Hey, well, you know what, though? We didn't answer the question about the nut case and Eddie Watts. That's right. That's right. All okay. Right, all, all right. right. So before we end it, before we end it, let me make it official. Nut case ain't gone, but 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 I pull him out every so often. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, so that's how we going to use him. You know, we, we got older. I couldn't be no, you know, no older dude talking about, yeah, I'm nut case. And my sister told me, my name was fresh. You know, my government was fresh. Eddie White sound good. Yeah, that shit do. That shit so good, said, yeah. I, so, so I'm going to use that. But then at the same time, though, when we, when we own one, that's when I pulled that cash out the closet and he could get him. You feel me? That's what's up. That's what's up. Matter of fact, I'm finna, um, I'm about to do a, uh, a the Dope House Live mixtape. I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm putting beats that. and shit together right now. Uh, and, uh, Start, you know, just hand them out. You know, all the niggas I fuck with. We gonna make some bomb ass shit. We gonna hand it out and see what happens. You know, get some shows hey. off that shit or whatever. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna be good, bro. You know, we gonna sat back. Everybody polished up real good too. So it's like all we can do is succeed with that, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get Ten you know, back in the booth, man. You holler at that nigga lately? You know, I uh, we 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 about once a week, but uh, I heard. A little birdie told me that uh, he, he didn't listen to a few beats. You feel me? But you know that don't mean nothing. He's cool. He ain't paying nobody. True. He ain't cool on that. Like, he for real. You know, he ain't finna do nothing for free. True. True. You that like nigga's not mean, finna do a motherfucking like, thing for free. And, and what I mean by that is, yeah, he, would get, he told me he would get on my project, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, three weeks ago. You feel me? Yeah. He was. It was me, him, and some other people talking, and he was like, yeah, I'll get on your shit, i fuck with ass shit, you feel me? He was talking about he'll fuck with draws, but his, his motivation, the reason why he not really motivated is because they not paying nobody. Like, it's a nigga, it's like we going out like suckers or something. But, but my thing to him was, them shows is what go. And I really think, since they done punched everything, that that's how you get to go. You feel me? You got the music, make sure you do some tight shit. You feel me? Make sure you give them some visuals. You feel me? With some solid ass videos. And then, it, it ain't up to no uh, industry motherfucking company. It's up to the street to say, we want niggas in our city, and they gonna put pressure on the venues, and they gonna have to tear us off when we come. Real talk. That's real motherfucking talk. My nigga, I'm, man, I'm Eddie Watts, a.k.a. Nutcase, man. It's been a pleasure, man. Thank you for getting on the show with me, man. I'm definitely, this is, as a matter of fact, this is chapter one of uh, uh, Gangsta Rap Made Me Do It. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to bring you back on on, value, on uh, part two, man. We're going to do this shit again. Anytime you need me, bro, you know, you my peoples, bro. We, we go, you know what I mean? It's good, man. For sure. Man, peace out, man. You take care of yourself, man. I'm going to holler at you later. Okay, in a minute, bro. One love. Yeah.